Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share an article with you that's really helped shape my parenting skills and I think it's really important to share this with you. Recently I read an article by Janet Lansbury. She is an amazing person. She's written so many blog posts, um, books, she's even got a podcast on respectful parenting and how to remain unruffled when you are amongst children. So the article in particular I will link to below, but basically what the article is about is when your child is having a tantrum or a meltdown, you envision yourself putting on a superhero costume and you just take a step back from the situation and see this moment right in front of you as significant and important and this is something that you can rise up like a superhero to be able to manage in a calm and respectful manner. So I will link the article below so you can read it in its entirety but basically I wanted to tell you a story about how this article helped. So the other day I said to Logan, okay it's time for your nap, time to hop into bed and what began as simple, I don't want to, no mum, not gonna happen, <laughs> quickly escalated into a full-blown tantrum. It got to the point where Logan was standing his ground and he was screaming with every cell in his body, screaming at me, saying, no, I hate you, mum, I won't go to bed, ah! Now, obviously it was much louder and it went for a lot longer than that. But when the tantrum got to that point, I remembered this article and I thought, okay, this is one of those moments. So I knelt down in front of Logan and I breathed and just braced myself for all of the screaming. And he continued, let it all out, screaming, screaming. And I had two thoughts. Number one, wow, that's really loud. <laughs> it's really loud. But number two, stay calm. Stay calm. Just be in this moment. Everything will be fine. It's hard, but it will pass. Be the strong, strong person that you are. And I wanted Logan to let all of it out and know that I was staying calm. I was staying with him. I wasn't leaving the room. I wasn't abandoning him when he had these really big emotions. And I just kept thinking, that's it, honey, let it all out. I want you to empty your emotional backpack. I am here. I can take it. Bring it on. And so the screaming continued for a little bit and then it stopped and he started to crumble and I was there. I was there to hold him and I held him close and I breathed him in and I said to him, I love you. I love you with all that I am and I love all that you are and I am here. I am here. And he looked up, tears streaming down his face and he said, I love you, mummy. I love you so much. And I just thought, that's it. That is the magic of being a respectful parent, of recognizing in those really, really tough moments how to stay present and how to stay empathetic and just to embrace all that it is. And it was amazing. I mean, it was, it was physically draining, of course, for both Logan and myself, just because of the amount of energy that was between us. But when it was over, when the storm had passed, I just thought, I can do this. I can take on the world. I have my superhero costume on. And so I really encourage you to read the article and see if you can apply just one of the tactics to a situation that might be happening in your life. Thank you for sharing in my story. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please comment below with your own power of empathy story. And also please subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends that may benefit from its message. And I'll see you next time.